I'm here with Little Primrose and we've had a very upsetting time. My family came to stay, that's not the upsetting part obviously, um, and on the very first day we had to look at her trying to escape. Primrose, please, please Primmy, you es little escapologist you, come here. On the very first day my family came to stay, which is now, um, it was on the 23rd of July, so it's a couple of weeks ago, we had to have Lara Bearcroft put to sleep. I was absolutely devastated. Um, the worst possible timing to lose a rat and have to do rat introductions and to console a poor girl who's lost her friends. She's now lost two friends in just a few weeks. She took it really, really badly. Um, and we had got the rats moved upstairs. Oh, where's she gone? She's looking for Barney to say hello to Barney. That's your wheel. You're going to get on the wheel. So yeah, worst possible time is I want to be here and um, console her. And I'm feeling really, really awful. As you know, little Laura Bearcroft was a really special girl to me because they're all special. But she was special because she was my cuddly girl. She wanted to be with me. And it was just devastating not to be able to be here with Primmy, who she just took it so badly. She got very stressed, she got a respiratory infection herself. Um, yeah, you come back this way, there's a little gap there. I know, any gap and you'll find it. Come here you, come here. That's it. I can't see you because my wrist doesn't bend that way. I know, there's a little gap there as well. You got that. Let's get you off the cable. That's not good. I'm attached to the electricity here, so I'm having to be very careful because my camera's battery's gone flat just as I wanted to film. And there she is, but she's not on her own. Um, luckily, little Primrose knows Matilda. They came from the same place, they knew each other when they were little, and they've always been next to each other, they've had playtime together. Now, she didn't really know the babies as well. Emily and Ray, <laughs> look at her, she can't escape out the back but she's going to have a good go. Um, she didn't know Emily and Ray because they've never shared a cage. The idea was they'd all go into the Royal Suite 95 but then it developed so much rust we had to stop using it and we had to go into these Freddy Max cages. You see it's a bit of a mess at the moment, got all my rat stuff piled up behind trying to sort it out. We're going to have um, a sale of some things that we no longer need because now we're down to three cages. we only got eight rats. Um, so ideally I would only put three rats into one of these cages. They, it says they can easily take primrose. <laughs> oh well, she'll come back in a minute. She's, she's a little escapologist but she's managed to get over there. She'll go behind the cage and I'm guessing she will come back eventually there's nowhere everything's blocked off so there's nowhere really she can go um but she is actually in with these lazy girls and there they are and we did introductions hello matty hello gorgeous let the doors open you can come out come on baby my lovely girl my matilda and there she is her baby who's twice her size that's emily and Ray's gone to sleep. Yay, you can get out. Look, this is great, isn't it? Hello, darling. Hello, hey, Matty. Come on, Emmy. Come on, can you get down there? Come on, Emmy. I might need to help Emmy out. Hey, Matilda. Hello, darling. Yeah, I'm sitting at this side because there's a bit of a mess there. I'm having a big sort out. Where's Emily? Emily and Ray. They might pop out in a minute. Matilda, um, not Matilda. Primmy's still rummaging round the back. I can hear her in the boxes. But yeah, it's great to be back downstairs, isn't it? They've got on incredibly well. We first of all put them into... I don't want you to go round the back, Matty. We put them into a spare cage um, with nothing in there, just bedding, water, and uh, we put some food in after we were sure they're okay. But... Matilda is such a wonderful, friendly rat. They all are such good-natured rats, and they got on famously. And then we introduced um, Emily and Ray one at a time on the bed. We then put them into the spare cage, so all four girls were in the spare cage. We had them in there 24 hours, everything was fine. So we moved them into this cage, which is Matilda's cage, which we completely scrubbed out. 
we rearranged it so it didn't look like Matilda's or Primrose's cage. Hear me. And um, then we, we had just a couple of the garland wood toy. We didn't have anything that people could run off with and get protective over. And things were going really well. After about four, there's Primrose climbing up the back. After 48 hours, um, yeah, there was a little scuffle, not scuffle, but overzealous grooming between Primrose and Emily, which really surprised me because Emily's such a gentle girl. Um, and it was up, they were fine. It was just a bit of squeaking and apparently they were hissing. I wasn't here, I didn't hear it. But there was no, no nastiness, nobody got hurt. And it's all settled down and they've been happily together for a week um, in this case. There she is. Hello Primmy. She always comes back. She's lovely. She's not a chewer. As, as she can't get to anything um, electrical or anything that is dangerous or whatever. But she's not a chewer, that one. Come on back, sweetheart. Don't want you to go down there, no. Because you might be a chewer. Come back, Primmy. Come back. Oh, there's Ray. Come on. Let's shove the towel down there to stop the others going down there. There's Ray. Come on, Ray. You can get out. Um, yeah, so they've been just over a week in the big cage together. It's not as big as I would like for four rats, but they have lots of playtime on the floor. We haven't got many toys out today because I wanted you to actually see the rats. But there they are, my lovely Matty girl, my beautiful Rexy girl with her curly whiskers, little Primrose, Ray, who's too busy eating the towel, Emmy, who needs some help to come out, so I'm going to have to put the camera down and help her get out. So yet again, it's bad news, devastated. I really needed some time to process the fact that I'd lost Lara um, and that obviously we, that didn't happen at the time. I just can't believe she's gone. She's my only cuddly girl. Primrose is lovely, but she's an adventurer. Matilda's lovely, but she's also an adventurer. Hey, darling. Hello. Good girl. But it's worked out very well. Um, and we just... You know, I don't know what we're going to do. We we'll sort out the. Oops, sorry, not jogging the camera. Hey, Matty, she's beautiful, isn't she? She is. It's funny her babies are twice her size that they take after the dad. They're a bit shy to come out sometimes. The babies, but they are lovely girls. And um, I'm going to go and help Emily out. And Ray, once she realises the door is open, will be out like a shot. But there they go. So four girls and four boys. And that's it, that's my ratty numbers are dwindling, 12 at the beginning of the year, July now, and we're down to 8, so we've lost 4, it's not good, it's not good at all, but for now, everybody seems happy, hey Matty, well Primmy's taking herself back in, hey little Matty, you can have a go on that wheel Matilda, I love that wheel, Go on, off you, on you get then. Good girl. Maybe not this time. That's our beautiful tic-tac wheel. Too big to go in these cages, but it's a floor toy. But here she is, my lovely girl. So, there we are. So you can see that, that Primrose is quite happy. Quite happy in with the girls. Matilda's a wonderful little rat, so absolutely adorable. Such a good-natured little girl. Primrose is off round the back again and that's my news for now so I'm hoping that things will calm down for a bit visitors and family have all gone home I've got a whole load of videos I want to make I'm hoping that I'm going to get organised I'm trying very hard I'm going to get on with my next lot of videos lots and lots of things to tell you and talk about and um, hopefully a break from all the sad news